Hey guys, it is Monday here on Pagan Perspective Subs Week, and this week we're actually talking about magical brews and drinks, and this question comes from one of my fellow subs, JD. So this month, or actually week, uh, we're talking about magical brews, concoctions, potions, drinks that uh, we use in our personal practice. Uh, for me, I would have to say there's the most highly used um, liquid, I suppose I would say, for my magical uses would be water, because you can easily put all sorts of spells and stuff into it. I'm constantly drinking water all day, um, just to try to stay hydrated to begin with, but also uh, I feel more connected to myself, my body, my emotions, um, filling that well within me that's constantly being drained and a lot of the time I like to charge and put spells into the water so that it is then absorbed into my own body and kind of just passes through in my blood and my whole system. Um, coming from reclaiming practice and which was taken originally from the Huna practice, um, there's a technique called Kala Kala where what you do is uh, express, well not express, but expel all the negativity and toxins that currently reside within your body um, energetically into a container of water. I usually recommend taking a glass because you're going to drink the whole thing at once. Um, but putting that all into there and really visualizing, seeing it changing that water into this like dark, gooey, gross, mucky mess. And just sitting there and holding and taking a breath with it. And from there, what you do is channel and breathe positive transformational light um, into that glass, seeing that dark, gooey, horrible thing becoming that clear, pristine water again, and those toxins becoming a medicine. And once you've done this process, you then drink the whole entire glass of water, take it into your body, and what it's meant to do is help with any blockages in your system energetically, so anywhere that like may be in your chakra system, it may be um, if you run iron and pearl pentacles, it might be in particular points. Um, it might just be in your general life, there could be a blockage energetically, and this process can help dissolve the blockage, transform it into something that will help you work through and beyond that blockage. Um, another thing that I often drink lots of is coffee, and um, another technique that I will use with coffee is, um, I don't know where the actual technique comes from, but I was taught it by a friend back in, I think, 2007, possibly, um, which is fire coffee. And what you do is raise up energy between your hands and you direct it right into your cup of coffee. And by doing that, you're putting this like extra oomph in that morning caffeine and just generally drink and enjoy that. Um, there's times when I find that a certain amount of coffee isn't quite good enough. I'll amp it up with a bit of fire coffee. Um, but yeah, I also drink lots of tea. Um, particular teas that help me, like I'll drink nettle tea, which is really good for digestion and um, immune system. I drink a lot of hibiscus tea and rose hip. Um, just makes me feel really good. <laughs> There's probably medicinal things. I know vitamin C is very present in rose hip tea. Um, ginger tea for settling the stomach, peppermint tea for um, same sort of thing, calming the stomach and calming the nerves. Um, even the process of just making tea, the whole ceremonies within Japan, in China, um, even England pretty much has a, like a, a ceremony around the consumption of tea and yeah. So what I can recommend is I'll try to try to find a good link on the process of Kala Kala and I'll put it in the box below um, and check it out. It's one of my favorite personal practices. I probably don't do it enough and I'm probably actually going to run it today because <laughs> I'm in need of it. I'm a bit toxic of late so hopefully it's will transform and change everything so yeah drink lots of water is what I always think if you're feeling dry or dehydrated drink lots of water. And, ah, something with Carla Carla that I forgot to mention, to com fully complete the process is to expel it from the body at the end. So peeing it out um, really completes that full cycle of Carla Carla. 
And on that note, I'm finishing up this video for this week. It has been a pleasure. I'm your Monday sub, Brendan, and I will see you in a month's time. Mwah.